The graphic audio experience you are about to hear was written by me, True Impact. If you like the story, I would love to chat about it over on our gaming channel, twitch.tv forward slash True Impact. We are live twice a week, and our schedules are posted in the panels on our Twitch page, as well as in the scheduled portion of our Discord every Saturday. You can find those links in the description below. Enjoy the story. White Room He slowly opened his eyes, almost as if he were waking up from a deep sleep. He raised his hand to shield his face from the blinding light that came from the ceiling. What was interesting was, there was no one light. Once his eyes adjusted a bit, he realized the whole ceiling was the light, illuminating the room. He sat up and looked around. The whole room was pure white. The white concrete slab with a single person white bed with rough white linen beneath him. The walls and floor were all white. Even the door which had a sliding window about waist high. The window on the door was just large enough for small objects to pass through. Even his clothes, a long sleeve shirt, cloth pants, and white cloth slippers were white. The only exception was the stainless steel sink, stainless steel toilet, and mirror with stainless steel trim. He stood, rubbing his hand through his hair. Even though he had no idea where he was or how he got here, everything felt familiar. Familiar as it was, he couldn't help but to feel empty, sad almost, and even lost. He walked to the sink, ran warm water into the palms of his hands, and as they overflowed, he splashed the water onto his face. It felt good. He did this a couple more times before turning the sink off and paused for a moment trying to clear his mind. He looked at the mirror and walked to it. What he saw caused him to stumble back. He reached for his face. I... I don't understand. He thought. What is this? The man he saw didn't seem like a man at all. Everything in the reflection was clear. His face, however, was blurry and it was like his eyes didn't want him to see what he looked like. He quickly walked to the door and reached for the handle. It was locked. He banged in the door. It echoed loudly with each pound, but when he stopped, silence was all he could hear. He stumbled back and began to pace. What is this place? Where am I? Where was I before here? He stopped. He was taken aback at the fact that he had no memory of where he was or even where he had been before here. It was worse than that, though. Who? Who am I? He began to panic. He couldn't even remember who he was or what his name is. His breathing grew heavier, and the panic set in. His head started to get dizzy. He sat down before he fell. It seemed like hours had passed, and he still could not remember a thing. This was maddening. He couldn't take it. He finally let out a bellowing yell. <coughs> Silence once again fell the room. It felt as if an eternity passed when he finally heard something. Footsteps, coming down from what seemed like a long hall. It was faint and slow. He stood quickly, running to the door, pounding on it for sweet freedom. The footsteps grew closer until they finally stopped at the door. A voice from the other side spoke. Hello, it said softly and quietly. The voice he heard seemed to calm him down. It sounded familiar, but also didn't at the same time. He could only describe it as something he recognized but forgot. The voice continued. Well, ready to leave? The man stood back, ready for the door to open. All you have to do is say you're ready to leave and... I will unlock this door. Excitedly, he opened his mouth to speak the words, but no words would come out. His eyes widened. Why can't I talk? He tried again, and nothing came out. The man on the other side of the door sighed. <sighs> well, I guess I will go then. He heard the man turn around and begin to walk away. No! Don't go! He wanted to yell, but no words would come out. The footsteps were gone. Stepping backward, he finally hit the edge of the bed and sat down. All he had to do was open the door. 
Why didn't he open the door? Why couldn't I talk? He would sit here and think for some time. Finally, he sat back and lay down on the bed. He took the rough blankets and pulled them over him. Before he closed his eyes, he had one last thought. What is this place? He had no memory. A man could have let him out, but he could not speak the words. He closed his eyes, and in an instant, for just an instant, everything went completely black. It seemed like the lights went out and everything was pitch black, but as soon as he opened his eyes to see what happened, he opened them to the white ceiling. He covered his eyes, relieving the discomfort from the brightness that felt blinding to him. Something was different. The blankets he covered himself with were now beneath him, and the bed was made as if he had never used them. He felt like he did when he woke up the day before. Was that a dream? A dream? No. It was no dream. A calmness fell over him. He sat up looking around. Everything still looked the same. A sink, a toilet, and a mirror. He stood up, walking to the sink to rub water on his face again. Then walked to the mirror. His eyes widened again, seeing the reflection for what felt like the first time, but then his blank mind remembered. He saw the same face before. For some reason, it was slightly less blurry, but still unrecognizable. For a second, he forgot what he looked like, but shrugged it off. He saw the door and reached for the handle to try to turn it to no avail. He knew it was not going to open, but he had to try. He turned around, and what he saw puzzled him. On the ceiling, a small square was missing. No, not missing, just burned out. It seemed like a piece of the ceiling light was out directly above his head. Was that always like that? He couldn't remember. He stood on the bed and felt the edge where the burned out light was, and where the working light was still shining. He could barely see standing as close to the ceiling while trying to investigate it, but there was no edge to the light. This is so weird, he thought, stepping off the bed. He walked to the sink and drank some water. Time passed as he tried helplessly to remember anything at all. His calm feeling began to vanish as the panic he felt the day before started to sink in. No, no, no. I gotta remember. I just have to. Then he heard it again. The footsteps. He stood quickly and ran to the door. This was it. This time, he was determined to tell the man he wanted to leave. The man stopped. Hello, he said. A smile formed on his face. Well, ready to leave? He asked again. And the man opened his mouth to say yes, but again froze. No, no, please, not again! He couldn't speak the words. All you have to do is say you want to leave, and I will unlock this door. There it was. The same words as yesterday. The man sighed. <sighs> well, I guess I'll go then. He said as he walked away. Again. He was broken. He could not believe this was happening. Tears streamed down his face as he felt defeated. I'm trapped. He walked backward, reaching the edge of the bed. The connection of his feet with the bed and not knowing how close he was made him fall back sitting down. I'm... I'm never gonna get out of here. He lied down, covered himself, and closed his eyes. As soon as they closed, his mind went black yet again. The panic erased, but this time, an image flashed before him. Just as quick as it showed up, it went away. He opened his eyes to the blinding light, jolting himself up. What was that? He looked down. It happened again. The bed made. I don't understand. His days were repeating.